Okay, we're going to install several smaller sections. We're going to install character creation, dialogue and follower control, world map, and the world of Skyrim dynamic log. Oh yeah. Hey guys, good to see you. How you doing? All right, let's do it. Starting off with crea uh, character creation. Even though they're short, I'm still going to create these separators. And you know what? Nothing you can do about it. Copy. Wrench and spanner. Create separator. Paste. Okay. Eh, you know what? Let's clean this out. Delete install downloads. You may have already done that. Okay, so we're gonna do race menu. A complete overhaul of the character creation menu, including new customizations featuring features such as multiple RGBA war paints, body paints, hand paints, and foot paints. Sounds good. Let's download it. Version 04-16. Well, 4.16. Alright, that works. Download it. And then let's install it, double click. Okay. Do we want to pack this BSA? No, no, we don't. Let's go ahead and activate it. All right, next section, dialogue and follower control. Let's create that separator. I live for separators. Copy, tiny wrench and spanner, create separator, paste. All right. All right, minimal oblivion dialogue menu. Modded easy to see dialogue menu. All right, sounds good. Actually, am I familiar with this? Yeah, I am familiar with this. I had recently started using this. A long time ago when I was playing. Anyways, mod manager download. Double click to install. Boom. Okay, go on ahead. Sometimes followers get under your feet, but you don't just want to leave them waiting in the middle of nowhere or send them back home. Go on ahead lets you send your followers to the cities and major towns of Skyrim where they can wait for you in a local tavern and relax until you pick them up. Let's download it. Version 1. Files. Bottom manager download. Alright, let's install it. Go on ahead. Okay. Do you uh, want to unpack this? Do you want to unpack this? Extract this BSA? Yeah. Yeah, we do. So you're going to click yes. Do you wish to remove BSAs after extraction completed? Yes, we do. And you know what? There is never going to be a situation where we're going to keep the BSA after we've extracted it. So I want you to do this. Click remember selection and then click yes. All right. Activate that. All right. Plowing on ahead. We're going to do world map. Let's create that separator. Copy. Team separator, guys. All right. Tiny wrench and spanner. Create separator. Paste. Boom. Okay. All right. Quality world map. This mod increases the world map texture quality and adds roads, which should be documented on any good map. Once xlogin has been created, move the, this mod underneath sslogin underscore output in the left pane of mod organizer 2. This is at the very, very end of the guide. So don't worry about that for now. And don't worry. I'm not, I'm not going to let you forget. All right. So let's go ahead and download this. Version 901. Files, come on. Uh, I believe. Not this one. Where is it? 901 VF. I think it's this one. Let me double check. 901 VF. Yes, it is this one. So make sure you download. Yeah, 901 VF. So click on this. That's Mod Manager. Download this. And let's install it once it's downloaded. We've got some additional steps. All right, now let's install it. A quality world map. Okay. All right, problem. Ice Penguin world map.esp is in form 43. Oh no, what are we going to do? Solution, load and save the plugin and creation kit to convert to form 44. In order to do that, you will do these. Activate it. Drop down menu. Go to creation kit. Run creation kit. All right. After the creation kit is open, let us lo let's load that plugin. So click on the tiny little folder here. Scroll down, and you'll see Ice Penguin World Map. .esp. Double click on that. Set as active file. Click OK. Dooby dooby doo. Okay, after it's loaded up, all you got to do is click on the little floppy drive here, right up here, click, saving, done, good, now you can close it out. 
And we're not quite done just yet. We're gonna take some safeguards here to make sure everything is okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up SSE Edit, click Run. Right here we're gonna click None, scroll down, and we're only gonna choose Ice Penguin World .esp. Click OK. This shouldn't take too long. All right, after background loader is finished, right click on the plugin, Ice Penguin World, and check for errors. Boom. Then wait, look for this message. Done, check it for errors. And it found no errors, we're good. After that, right click, then go down to Sort Masters. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Okay. And then after that, you can go ahead and close out SSC Edit. And then one final step, drop down menu, go to SSE Edit Quick Auto Clean, click Run. And then we're going to run that plugin through this. So choose IcePinguinWorld.esp and click OK. Okay, so we've converted it and made sure that it's good. Close it out. Okay, we can now move on. Better fall scar and worm's tooth map with roads. This mod improves the quality and adds main roads to the maps of fall scar. So I'm going to copy this here. No, I'm not. I'm not going to copy that. That's not a separator. What are you doing, JT? All right, let's download it. And we want version one. Main file is better fall scar and worm's tooth maps with roads. That's this right here. So mod measure download, download. Now let's install it. Okay, and activate that. Dynamic snow for map. This mod improves the look of the dynamic snow on the world map. Type two, that's what we want. Version eight. Go into files. Type two, version eight, very good. Mod manager download. Close this out and let's install it. Dynamic snow for map, boom. Then activate. And then finally, we are going to, well, not finally, we're going to install map markers complete with DLC and OCS. Exploration is a huge part of Skyrim, and there are many locations that can be hard to find and easy to lose or miss. These mods help by adding map markers to hundreds of locations. Yep. And if you got some grass mods, and you will, <laughs> following this guide, it's very easy to, um, to miss a lot of stuff. So click download, files, and map markers complete. Very good. And now let's just install it. Okay. And activate that. All right. Now the final section we're going to install in this video. The world of Skyrim dynamic lod. Oh, yes. It's that time. Time to create a separator. Copy. Mmm. Wrench and spanner. Create separator. Paste. Then you click OK. Mmm. Oh, yeah. All right, Dendalod Resources Special Editions 3. Dendalod is a set of simple tools based on XEdit, XLogin, to automatically create a Skyrim mod based on the load order, which adds this and lot for objects and trees to Skyrim. <gasps> By combining Dendalod with XLogin, users can create drastically enhanced static objects, lot plus tree lot, and the new optional dynamic distant object lot in a few simple steps. This mod is not completely installed until the executables have been run in the final section of the guide. That's way down the low, guys. We don't have to worry about that just yet. So, Alpha 13, that is the one we want. Main file, okay. Let's do it. Oh, and there's only one available here anyway. Mod Manager download. Download. And now, let's open up this full mod here. Uh, let's install it. Double click. Mm -hmm. Next. Next. We're gonna choose everything in the visual options. Click, 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 click. You do not want the performance option. Although, if your video card has, I would say, less than eight gigabytes of RAM, VRAM, you may consider this. You may want to consider this. Miscellaneous options. Let's click Desync Birds of Prey and then install. All right. Make sure you have set up Dindalot as per the prerequisites guide. Also make sure you are also using the SE version of this mod. If you've been following the series, you have done so. And you know this because you will find Dindalod here. Text gen and Dindalod. So no worries. Activate. HD LODs textures. This mod is a complete retexture of Skyrim, Din uh, Dragon, Dawnguard, Abadiyah, Abadiyah, that's all folks. And Dragonborn LODs. 
So we're gonna do the main files here to do the lot of version. So download it. Files. And here it is, did the lot version. Automatic download. Delete the following and our folders after we've installed it. HD Lots plugins BSA has a big performance impact due to loading and entire city's lots. Okay. Alright. So we can install it and delete it, or we could do it this way. Uh, from this window, click on manual. And here you'll see the two files that we need to delete, the SSE, BSA, and the ESP. So just uncheck those boxes and click OK. All right, so let's clear this out. Delete install downloads. Feeling claustrophobic up here, so I'm going to right click, all mods, collapse all. And now we're ready to continue our modding adventure in the next video.